Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Salar Khan YouTube channel where today we see the last case, the third case of what? Of the P injunction diode where we see the reverse biasing. Where we see the reverse biasing. Now again, what does the term biasing mean? So biasing means the application of external voltage. Reverse biasing would suggest what? It would suggest that you have your P connected to the negative terminal of the battery and your N connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Now this diagram, this is, a, this is an already uh, uh, drawn, this is what? This is your P-N junction diode under no bias condition. You have a P side, you have an N side. On the P side, you have holes as the majority carriers and electrons as minority carriers. Whereas on the N side, you have electrons as the majority carriers and holes as the minority carriers. You have a depletion region which has been depleted of free charge carriers and you know how is that. You have an electric field developed, you have a barrier potential over here and you have a junction in between the P and N side. This you know very well. Now what do you have? You make aluminum contacts, most probably aluminum, metallic contacts you could just say and, and now you do what? You have your N side connected to the positive terminal of the battery and you have your P side connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Negative positive. So in this case we consider what? That our VD is negative. We consider that VD is negative. VD is what? It's the applied voltage. So we have a current across the diode and we consider it a conventional current. So this is the direction ID. Fine. Now, now what would be the effect? What would be the effect? So the effect is have a look this is a negative charge if it's on this side will it not attract electrons holes will it not attract holes or will it not spray electrons it will so first the first condition if it if it attracts the holes so what happens the holes are attracted more ions have been depleted more ions have surfaces out more ions have surfaced out right it have been removed from the holes or if you consider the next case that if it's spraying your negative charges so these holes are the vacancy of electrons so electrons are being sprayed into the vacancy so what happens the vacancy is being recombined the vacancy is being finished so we have only negative ions remaining on this side so which means we've got uncovering of ions again. So have a look. Uh, let me draw it on the other side. This is another region. Fine. Let me draw that electron. This has removed. Now, similarly for the positive side. For the positive side, what would happen? If you say that this would attract the opposite charge, which means this would attract the electrons. This will attract the electrons toward itself, which means again we have uncovering of immobile lines. The free charges are surfacing out. Free charges are being depleted. Or if again you say this is a positive charge, this is acting as a spray of positive charge. It will inject the positive charge into it. It would recombine with these electrons. And which means what would happen? Again, you have what? You have a recombination and your width of depletion region has increased. So have a look if this is your WD dash. So your WD dash has increased. Is greater than the previous WD. Isn't it like this? It is. So which means in this case, your WD dash is directly proportional to your applied voltage and similar would be the case for the barrier potential. If the width of the depletion region has increased, so the barrier potential has also increased. Why? Because this electric field is now over a greater region. And that is it about it. That is it about the reverse bias condition of a diode. The Majority charge carrier current and the minority charge carrier current. 
So if you see this would be the direction for I majority. And the opposite would be the direction for I minority. So in this case, in this case, the majority charge carriers have a greater barrier potential to overcome. A very greater barrier potential to overcome. So in this case, the majority charge carrier current is almost, almost equal to zero. Why? Because of the very greater uh, 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 depletion region and due to that you have an extra you have an electric field and due to that you have a greater barrier potential so the majority charge carrier current is almost equal to zero where the reverse saturation current or the minority charge carrier current is only present over there but that is also in the range of micro amperes it may reach nanoamperes. This is a very small current. This would be there and this would be the same as no bias condition. This would be the same as no, as we saw in under no bias condition. Why? The reason you know very well that this is due to the minority charge carriers, which only depends on the rise of temperature. The temperature is the same. The number of minority charge carriers are the same. So the current would be the same. And that is it. So the only current in reverse bias condition is what? Is the drift current that is due to the minority charge carriers. And that is a very, very, very small current. Is that fine? It is. Let's see if we have some points and then we'll just finish it up. Attraction between holes and negative terminal and electrons of N side and positive terminal. Okay, so uncovering the film mobile lines take place, right? The new barrier potential, the new barrier potential, let me write. The WB dash, the VB dash, the VB dash, which is the new barrier potential, this would be equal to the old barrier potential plus the, the V diode in this case. So which means this will increase, right? The majority charge carrier cannot overcome the increased barrier potential as width of the region increase and now also the barrier potential is increased so I majority is approximately equal to zero which was in which direction which was in this direction and I've already shown it over there. Number of minority charge carrier will not change hence minority carrier flow will remain the same as in the case of no applied bias. So under the reverse bias only one current exists that is the reverse saturation current and that is uh, that is denoted as IS okay. The reverse saturation current is denoted as IS and which is in the range of micro amperes and this depends on the rise of temperature only fine. So if I if I say about the width and about the barrier potential. So the width is the greatest in the reverse bias. Width of the depletion region in the reverse bias is the greatest. Then you have the width of the depletion region in no bias condition and then you have the width of the depletion region in the forward bias condition. Fine. Similarly the barrier potential is the greatest in the reverse bias. Then we have in the no bias. And then the, the barrier potential is the smallest in the forward bias. Yes? Yes. So this is what you need to remember. This is the summary of the three videos that we have made. Is that fine? It is. The symbol of the diode. You need to know about the symbol of the diode as well. So what is the symbol? The symbol is like this. You have a P-type material represented like this by this triangle. This is your P-type material. You have a straight vertical line representing the junction. This red represents the junction. And then you have this N side represented like this. So you have this N side represented like that. So this is the symbol of the diode. And I believe I should finish this over here. If you revise the reverse bias, so in the reverse biasing, what do you do? You consider the P to be, uh, not consider, you apply the negative terminal of the battery to the P side, you apply the positive terminal of the battery to the N side. What happens is, 
this would uh, do what? N would uh, spray electrons, so it would finish the vacancy uncovering of mobile ions. The positive would spray positive charges, it would, it would recombine with the negative electrons, so, so again uncovering. So it means the width of the depletion region has reduced, increased. So if the width has increased, which means the external, which means the electric field inside that was developed has also increased, which means the barrier potential has now increased, so the majority charge carrier cannot move further due to the there is an increased barrier potential, not further, almost no movement. So it means the majority charge carrier current is almost equal to zero. Whereas the reverse saturation current that only depends on the minority charge carriers and it depends only on the rise of temperature. So if the temperature is the same, the number of minority charge carriers is the same. And if the number is the same, so the current due rate is the same, which will remain the same as in case of the no bias condition. And that is the only current in the reverse bias condition, which is in the range of micro amperes. Fine. And then we saw about the symbol of the diode. You have a rectangle representing the P side. You have a straight line representing the junction. You have another horizontal line representing the N side. If you talk about the width, so the width is greatest in the reverse bias, then in no bias, and it's the smallest in the forward bias. Similarly, the barrier potential is the greatest in reverse bias, and then smallest in the forward bias. And that is it. So that is it about the most important topic of the course, the PN junction diode. We saw three cases, number one, no bias, number two, for, forward bias, number three, reverse bias. And I hope that I have delivered one of the best lectures that I ever have had in this electronics course till now. All of them, starting from uh, semiconductor devices and, and moving into the PN junction diode. I believe I've had one of the best lectures. Anyways, I hope you like it. If you guys like it, so, so you have to appreciate me in the, in the comment section. You also have to give it a like. You have to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, so you do subscribe to it as well. And one thing I've missed over here. So the, the thing is the, of, uh, the formula. Let me write the temperature dependency. Temperature dependency. Of what? Of the of the of the reverse saturation current, right? So IS2, if I name the new current IS2, so this would be equal to the old current IS1 times 2 to the power, let me check 2 to the power T2 minus T1 divided by 10. T2 minus T1 divided by 10. So this is the formula. This is the formula when this is the reverse saturation, the old reverse saturation current at T1 and then at T2 this I is 2, right? And temp uh, T is of course the temperature in Calvin's. So that is it for this video. See you in the next one very soon inshallah. Till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you and also do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.